Hello everyone and welcome to the garage and I'm posting this video because I'm seeing something weird and wanted to uh, know if this is something normal or not. Uh, for um, those of you who follow me on Twitter, you've probably heard uh, recently that I picked up a broken pinball machine, uh, 1985 Gottlieb uh, Ice Fever. And it doesn't work, doesn't boot, so I've been trying to track it down, uh, track down the problem. Um, and what I've got here is I've pulled the CPU. It's a pretty standard architecture based around a, a uh, Rockwell 6502 chip. And um, it, I don't know if it's acting weird or if it's supposed to be like this, but what I've got here is I've just got a, um, an eight megahertz oscillator divided down by eight with a counter, giving us a one megahertz clock input um, what you're seeing, that's what you're seeing on the scope here, this, this blue is phi zero, and then, uh, nothing on the address lines, and the data lines are all, uh, tied, um, to hexadecimal EA, which is the NOP instruction, so basically what this chip should be doing is just incrementing the address bus repeatedly, um, so that means that I can probe the address lines and see various, uh, square waves, so this is, a0, and something strange I'm noticing right away is that the output level is under 4 volts. Now looking at VCC here, it's about 5.3, a little bit higher, um, depending on whether you ask my scope or my multimeter. Um, and then it gets weirder. So A0, it's got this stair step effect, and here's A2 with like multiple levels of stair stepping, and a3, um, A4, A5, um, weird stuff that I'm uh, not quite sure what this means. I don't know if these are normal operating uh, conditions for the chip. Um, all, the, all the address lines are outputting square waves, so uh, they do all work. Um, so it's not like there's a stuck uh, address line or something here. Let's see, A12, and then A13, A14, and A15. So let's go back to say A2 here uh, and zoom way in. So the, um, actually let's look at at A0, um, ah, doesn't matter. Um, the reason that this concerns me is because the rest of the CPU board design, oops, uses uh, HC74HCT logic chips, which have a approximately 4.5 volt, sorry for knocking the camera, approximately 4.5 volt uh, input threshold for a voltage to be considered high. And if this 6502 is acting weak and it can't, uh, if it's output, um, if it's data, uh, if it's, if it's address lines, um, are not being properly detected as highs and lows, then that could cause problems with, uh, improper address decoding and, uh, all kinds of weird things happening. So I just wanted to know if this is normal or not, or if my, uh, 6502 has gone bad. Um, let me know. Uh, I don't really check the comments that often, but at me on Twitter, um, and I'd be interested to, uh, find out what this is all about. Thanks.